Hey, what's going on everyone here? Welcome to another video of FTG Full Tilt Gaming. Thanks for joining us today. We are looking at the Delius Catch, the game. So we're going to walk through the alpha build today. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so it's going to be a good video for you guys to kind of get your taste of the game. Um, obviously, there are lots of things that are going to be implemented, lots of things that will probably change. Um, and just for reference, I remember the original Gold Rush that I played is nothing like what the Gold Rush turned out to be. So... Um, you guys have actually wanted me to do some of this stuff, go back to fishing, go back to some of these games that I used to play some. Um, so anyway, how about a new game, Dale? Let's catch. Let's get started. Don't go nowhere, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome in, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us again. So uh, let me give you a quick synopsis here. We are in Dutch Harbor here on Deadliest Catch the Game. Uh, I got a few things here I want you guys to take note of, at least what is going to be planned inside of the game, at least as of now. It's already in the alpha build, so I can't, ex uh, I can't expect, but it's at least going to get better and get more in-depth as we go on from this point on. So anyway, processing plant. It's pretty simple. Sell your crab off. Make your money. Uh, finds office. So if you catch females, if you catch juveniles, any of those types of things or the wrong crab, keep them and then try to offload them and sell them. Then they will, um, if it's up, I think it's past 10% then of your quota catch, then you'll actually get fined for that. So, yeah. Gas station. Probably should be fuel station, but I didn't put it in there. Uh, upgrades, as you can see. Equipment, automation, ship, uh, all the different things that, you know, you can upgrade uh, in a game like this. Also, skills, a nice little performance tree of different things that you can do that is going to uh, hopefully be able to help speed things along as well as give you some little perks and other stuff as you uh, get into the game. Equipment usage, it's exactly what it says. Um, you know, well, let's just look through a few of these. Power Wizard, automatic withdrawal of the bait, inserting the bait, and opening and closing the pot. So as soon as when you update, when you do that, um, you will be able to automatic withdraw the bait, pull that out, inserting the bait, and opening and closing the pot all in boom, just like that. $30,000 upgrade on that. Let's look at this. Quick hands, fast rolling up the hooks. Group. We'll look at that and how you actually hook and do that. Emergency hold. Ability to arrange uh, the pots on deck and make limited additional holding space. Useful in, catch of, in, useful in case of catch overflow. Which is kind of nice. Um, so, um, really, outside of that, uh, most of these things are pretty self-explanatory. you got a more efficient bait. Uh, more crabs keep freshness for a longer time. Baits will go bad, and you'll have to either chunk them or you'll have to get new stuff. Um, but you can see all of, you can see all of at least what they have so far. So, all right. So let's go ahead. Now that we've looked in Dutch Harbor, let's go ahead and let's hop on the crab vessel. Um, let's see exactly. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's just for the sake of it, let's. Um, I bought the sardines, herring. Yeah. So let's go ahead. Let's just buy us. We got two on there. Let's go ahead and buy. We'll have four. All right, so two and that's four. Let's, um, we got two of those. So we got four. All right, so let's just, we'll have four of these, which we don't really need all that, but we got five buoys. Yeah, we haven't got four pots, so we're good. All right, confirm that. So now we got four. Good deal. All right, so let's hop in the crab vessel. Now, here's the thing. You basically can take you any any place here now the really dark spot is the land everything else is open open water i have no idea where to actually go um, i just know the further north you get it does get somewhat colder but it does depend too i don't know this topographical i always hear them say fishing off the shelf but i have no idea whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing depending on where it would be so i i i'm tempted i see a bunch of muddy and then also see like sandy and what I'm seeing is this whole inside here is sandy while the outside of this gets rocky or it gets muddy. Like, especially down in here, it's all muddy. I'm going to go with sandy because I'm thinking that might be the best place, but I really don't know. So just keep that in mind. Just being brutally honest here. Um, all right, so let's just pick this place. Sure. And you can see it's, yeah, it's how... So it tells you how much you're going to have left. So it'll take us 11 hours to get out there. Good thing is you don't have to... Ooh, man, look at the... Man, we come right in here at a great time. Holy crap. All right, let's get some lights on out here. So we got lights on in the back. So there's... I 
think that that light them all up. I think it did. All right, there you go. All right, let's see. It is nine o'clock, so let's just for the sake of it, you guys are getting to see some of the weather here. I really would like to get this at least in the morning. So let's go ahead. And let's put it at eight thirty and see what happens at eight thirty in the morning. So some of this should hopefully die away. It's not the, the worst part of it. Right. Boy, it would be nice if we, uh, how pretty the water is. I actually did a really good job with the water. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty stoked about that. Okay, all right, so a couple things we got. Uh, here's our launcher. We've got our main uh, sorting table. We've also got the coiler here, which is uh, nothing more than coils up. It spins, rolls the rope in, reels the pot in, so you don't have to do it by hand. And then you've got a hook up here that hooks that, loads it in the launcher. The launcher goes into that, and then voila, Crab Production 101. It's not that hard, folks. Um, all right, so let's um, so let's go ahead. And let's mess with a big crane. A couple. We're going to throw a couple pots out here that I'm gonna speed up time, and then we'll see how we get along. Um, and I'm going to put different baits in every single one and let them all soak, I think, for like 16 hours-ish. That's what we're going to go with. So using the grain is very simple. It's not complicated. I think it would be better if we had that option. And I want my lights back on. There we go. All right. Uh, I would love to have that, but uh, for right now, it's pretty simple. So. Alright, we're opening up our doors. We got a bait block here and then also our buoys inside, but we don't have any buoys out, so we need to go set a few out. So we've got four. It's not a way for me to. Yeah, so I can set them there. So what I'm going to do is grab a few out while I'm at it. And we're going to set these out over here. So there's two. I can't... Sometimes this kind of stuff is fun. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I like it sometimes. So is it going to let me... Yes. All right. So let's figure out what we got bait-wise here. Uh, we've got... Uh, you can see we've got two of these. We, we're five of most of these, and we got bait blocks. The bait block, I think, does five. So right now, ready to hang inside the pot. Before is used bait for the first block to be put in the bait chopper. Yes, obviously. Um, whether on any of them... Let's do, uh, let's just start at the top and let's do herring since we've got four pots and we've got three baits. So we'll put a bait there and then we'll put one of these. Right here. Right, so we've closed that down. It automatically locks. I don't think there's anything else like fancy fancy. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's let this one go. There she goes. All right, so right now we're neutral. So I'm gonna kick it in the first gear. That way, we're not laying pots on top of one another. See, there goes our pot. So we got this lowered back down. So let's go ahead and let's... Uh, there's two different ways to do this. You can actually control them right here on the side as well, which is kind of nice. If you want to stay on the deck, then you can stay on the deck. Now, I know the first question someone is going to ask, is this for multiplayer? Not right at the moment. Um, I, not that I know of. Uh, would I hope that it would be? Sure. What's our track record of uh, multiplayer games like this? Yeah, not, not really many, to be honest with you. All right, so Herring, let's do Sardines Bait. Let's throw that one in there. Then we'll throw us, uh, open that up. There we go, so we'll hang that. We got that. We'll put that up there on the top. There we go. Let's close it. See, setting a block, I mean, setting a, setting a pot here is not really that bad. Alright, so there's those two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kick it up just a bit. I wish the engine sound, I wish the engine on the, um, a little bit louder. All right, 
right, so there's that. So let's go ahead, let's run back here. We'll set these three off. How about that? Since we got three baits, we'll set these three off. And then I'll I'll decide and we'll grind a bait so you guys can see it going through the chopper. Get that up out of the way. Get that up on the way. We'll go ahead and hook our uh, hook our buoy up there while we got a chance. There's that. Alright, so now we gotta go down here and use that bait. Alright, so we're going to close the door. Alright, so if you wanted to use this stuff, uh, if you wanted to do any of these things, right here, you certainly can. Um, raising and lowering, obviously, kind of get the idea. Here's your grain control. And then you've also got things. Here's your throwing the crabs from the pot. This is when you actually get it up on the block here, and then you move your sorting table underneath it. That's where that all goes. Uh, then you can slide your table here. You can also got controls over on that side as well. I'll show you those, um, at least in this alpha build. There's quite a, quite a bit of uh, infrastructure here for controlling uh, all of this stuff set up already. Uh, but you've got your winch hook, which is hooked up, up at the top up there, right there. And then you got your throwing hook right there. So once we um, once we go ahead and let's uh, we'll get eat a raise. Let's go ahead and let that one go. So now you can see the time on those. So now, uh, for the most part, we can let those go. Now, you would put these in a pretty nice, decent string, put you out a couple of test pots, those types of things, and then uh, and then see what you got. So from there, we are pretty much done. So now it's the waiting game. Um, so we've got three pots out there, enough to kind of get your feet wet here. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's see. It is 11 o'clock, so... I think usually they go anywhere between 16 and 18. I've seen, um, you know, we'll just do 18. Puts us 5 in the morning. I don't know if any of these are you're going to see. Yeah, yellow. I think green's what you're looking for. Yeah, pretty sure green's what you're looking for. I will say, um, as with all things, I, I do enjoy a really, really, really good simulated driving type, you know, style deal. Um, this was not really, you know, it's it's not really for those guys that's looking for that driving a, a real boat in the Bering Sea. I don't know that you're going to get it. I mean, I know it's the alpha build, so I'm not going to do too much judging on this game. This is not an official review of this. It's just a really good first look. Alright, so we're pretty close to that point. Actually, we're like probably too close. Let's hurry up and see if we can... Uh... Oh! Oh! got it all right so now it's in the block so now we got to lower our winch hook um, lower winch hook so we got to lower the table as well yeah I'm blocking its path whoops all right, there we go now you know there's probably not gonna be anything in this thing right oh wait a minute Got one other thing. There's the cooler is cooling, rolling or reeling up. The, oh, lo oh! No! Oh my god! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Holy crap! Oh, I'm so lucky! Oh, that's awesome! Alright. I'm legitimately excited about this. Don't screw it up, Jay. Don't screw it up. Just keep your eye on the prize. Look at that, man. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. So now, all right, so what we got to do. Now, I have not done the sorting. It's the first time I've caught crab. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I've done this part of the video like two or three times. I'm like, I got to catch crab, man. I can't go out here and shoot blanks. Yes. All right. So move the table forward. Slide up under. All right. Open the door. 
and then do this. Yeah. All right. It's a little, little, a little abrupt. So I think, all right. For I think we slide the table back now. I think is what we do. So here's what we gotta do. Now we gotta figure out, we gotta look, look at these things and we gotta sort them. Which is, I will be honest with you, it's gonna be so monotonous. You're gonna be like, oh my god, bro. Alright. Alright, so the ones that have a triangular pattern are good. So that one's not. So that's a female. Pretty sure that's what that means. So we got 33 in that one. So we got one. All right. So that's a female. So the ones. Well, flip, flip him over. Sure. Why not? Alright, so I have no idea on size on these. I will say that. I don't think there's a way for me to zoom into them. But if it's a triangular... Alright, let's open up uh, our thing here. Crab sorting, there you go. Size. Smaller crabs. I guess if they're just smaller, you're just supposed to chunk them. I guess. I don't... I don't know. Be honest with you, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, so, all right, so it shows you some males and females. You may rotate them or zoom in. Okay, so you can do that. All right, all right, there's the flip. How do you zoom in? Okay, well, we're going to hope that that was a good... Oh, look at it. Good lord. Alright, so see, it's the triangular. So that's a that's a good one there. He's huge. Alright. It's probably, probably too small. Alright, see, that's a female. Because it's got a whole flap. Even though she's big. See, that's a triangle. So we're looking to keep triangles. And I guess... Alright, so that one, that one's good. Man, <laughs> dude, if you had 150 crabs, oh my god. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm still sorting of sorts of crabs. <laughs> Um, so I hope that was one. I forgot. Maybe hit a button. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So. All right. So I think. Yes. I think what's going to happen. I don't know what to do now. Alright, so we picked that one up. Alright, so we picked these guys up. Alright, so these are our bad ones. So let's find out what we can do with them. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with them. They don't go in a tank, obviously. still in here uh, okay so we're just gonna we're just gonna put them there I don't know what to do with them I don't think they go in uh, I think this is the only one so we're gonna close that up just for right now none of these open up okay all right well um, here we go let's continue on 
Um, so let's go ahead for uh, argument's sake. Let's go ahead and let's pretend that that was so great. All right, so let's go. We'll put one up in the chopper. How about that? That was herring. So let's go ahead and grab some more herring here. We'll throw it in. Yeah, look at that. We'll pretend that that pot was so good, 30 crab in it. We're gonna throw it back down again. So we'll do that. Chop. See ya! Alright, so there she goes. Now we gotta find our other ones. Which we did three, so where the. There they are. Very nice on the visuals. Uh, graphics are very good on pretty much everything. The lighting is really good. Shadowing is very good. There's not a ton of like anti-aliasing and all that kind of stuff to like mess with on this one. It's pretty solid when it comes to the graphics on this thing. I was actually kind of impressed. Because I, I don't know, man. Sometimes, you know, sometimes these games, they just don't... They lack that part. They, they worry so much with functionality, which they should be. That sometimes graphics, you know, or something that a little bit takes uh, a little bit of a back seat, or it's the first thing that people look at, and they don't spend enough time in the mechanics. So you rarely do you ever find those games that get it both right. Alright, so that was easy. Uh, coiler. Alright, here we go. If I do a crab dance. Yeah, we got crab in there. Kapow! All right, so we now we can go over here. Now there's not as many on here. Let's see how quick we do it now. Now that we've actually got crab in here. <laughs> Open that up and let's hit that little button there. Drop them. God, we got 43. Big old boy. Big old boy. Yeah, little. Little. And see how quick it can get. Now, if you do this too much, not too much, but if you do this in a fashion that uh, you wind up putting a bunch of, uh, not, not a bunch of dead crabs, <laughs> put a bunch of female crabs in your tank, then you're gonna have a problem. Because that's what you'll actually get fined on. It's actually illegal to keep females because they need them to continue to keep spawning so that you can keep eating them at the restaurant. If you take all the females out and all you got are males, well, we got a problem. Oop, oh, ah, that was one, that was a female in there. Wrong button. I'm enjoying the size of some of these crab, man, they're huge. That was a female. Let's go ahead and sort this last one out here. See a male, oh, that one, yep, yep. Nope, 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 and nope, too small. All right, so now let's go get, oh boy. Okay, this is where we're going to run into a problem. I don't know where this is supposed to go. Is this it? I just want to throw the bad crabs away. Where did the bad crabs go? Bad crabs. Bad crabs. Ah, Alright, let's see. Let's see what it says. Um, here we go. Throwing out crab. 
spot until they always throwing out the crabs. Uh, they're right here. We go. They're on crabs everywhere. You can create crabs if you don't want to go. Come to the starboard and click on the C. Is that starboard or port? I think starboard's right, I think. Oh, there they went. Oh, no, there they are. Clicking on the sea, and these crabs are still in this pot. Alright, you know what? Just for the game's sake, I'm gonna put these little puppies. Oh, wait a minute. It's not a. Okay. Oh, there you go. Shoop! Oh my god, look at where they went. Keep going, little fishies. Alright, so now we'll pick these back up. There we go. Alright, so now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. So they go in there, and then those go in there. Cover that back up. And then these guys will get a good fling. Alright, now. Sweet. Now we got it. Now we got it. Alright, so let's bait this one back up real quick. Throw that there. Throw that there. That there. And... Kapow! Alright, well, um, you know what? That was a highly successful first look video on this. You guys got to see some crabs, some sorting. Literally got to see it all in here, so that was good, man. I well, whew, couldn't have asked for a better, uh, better ending to that one. So, anyway, I'm gonna go pick up this last pot here before uh, it goes bad, because it looks like it is fixing to go bad. So, um, I will keep you guys um, up to speed on this game um, as some new things come out. It's a great first look, but really you were literally looking at what you can do in this first alpha build. So as some new things and beta builds come up, um, I will be sure and trying to cover some new things that's going on with the game, especially if you guys like it. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, especially if you want to keep up with some more Dailyest Catch. Hopefully this is a really cool game that has a lot of good things going on with it. Uh, potentially we can stream some things or it might just be good for these good videos so I have no idea what exactly my content is going to look like with this one uh, but we'll just see based off what your guys uh, expectations what your thoughts on this so if you like it they don't have to be nasty or rude um, if you think if some suggestions really they really don't really I don't want to say they don't really matter but they really don't because we're only in the alpha build so give it time for the game to grow give it time for feedback as well if you guys decide to um, to to uh, jump inside the Kickstarter and go ahead and get your own beta copies of the game as well, um, but once those things roll out, the beta demos and things, you guys will have some access to those as Kickstarter funders. Um, so if you want to do that, check the description. I'll have the link down there as well, um, and then we can kind of go from there. But anyway, it was a good first look video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. I'll see you here in the next the Dealers Catch first look. Actually, it won't be a first look. It'll be a second look, hopefully. Yeah, because hopefully this game keeps going. Anyway, I'm out, guys. We'll see you. Peace out.